Hey everyone, it's Ann Chi. You're coming live from her kitchen. And oh, look there, I see Faye. Hey, and Jackson, hello. Mason, are you listening to your mom and dad? I hope so. Alicia, hello. Krista, hi. I hope you're being a good girl. How about you, Mackenzie? Are you behaving yourself? I hope so. I'm just so happy to see all of you. I miss you so much. I can't wait till we can get back together, okay? I hope you're being good. I'm going to try to send you messages, okay? Because I really do miss talking to you. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. Now, I know it's one you might have heard before, and I know you like it. And your moms and dads liked it, too, a long time ago. So, it's a story about a grandma who lived high on the hill over here. She lived with her grandson. And they had an old house. And every night before that little boy would go to sleep, he'd run and cry and hide under his bed. Well, so Grandma said, now tonight, are you going to run and cry and hide under your bed? Oh, no, not me, said the little boy. Well, good, because I'm an old woman and I need my sleep. So that night, the little boy got into bed and Grandma turned out the light. And then she closed the squeaky door. And the little boy jumped out of bed and went under the bed and he cried. He went, wah, wah, wah. And Grandma came running into the room and she said, you're driving me crazy. I'm mad, mad, mad. Tonight I'm putting a pig in bed with you. So that night, the little boy got into bed and Grandma put a pig in bed. And she turned out the light. And she closed the squeaking door. And the little boy jumped on the bed and went, wah. And the piggy jumped on the bed and went, oh, 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 oh. and her grandmother came running into the room and she said, you're driving me crazy. I'm mad, mad, mad. Tonight, I think I'm going to put a, uh, a dog in bed with you. So that night, the little boy got into bed and the piggy got in bed and the dog got into bed. And grandma said, and now tonight when I close the door and I turn off the light, are you going to run and cry and hide under the bed? Oh, no, not me, said the little boy. Well, good, because I'm an old woman and I need my sleep. So that night, the little boy got in bed, and the piggy got in bed, and the doggy got in bed. And she turned out the light, and she closed the squeaking door. And the little boy jumped and ran under the bed and went, Mwah! And the piggy jumped under the bed and went, And the doggy jumped under the bed, And the grandmother came running into the room, and she said, You're driving me crazy. I'm mad, mad, mad. Tonight, I'm going to put a cat in bed with you. So that night, they all got ready for bed. And she said, now tonight, are you going to run and cry and hide under the bed? Oh, no, not me, said the little boy. She said, all right, because I'm an old woman and I need my sleep. So that night, the little boy got in bed. The piggy got in bed. The dog got in bed. And the, right, the cat got in the bed. She turned out the light and the glass. She turned and she closed the squeaking door. And the little boy jumped on the bed and went, wah. And the piggy jumped on the bed and he went, and the doggy jumped on the bed and went, and the kitty jumped on the bed and went, meow. And the grandmother came running into the room and she said, I'm mad, mad, mad. Tonight I'm going to put a snake in bed with you. Oh, what do you think of that? Oh, that'd be kind of scary, huh? So that night they got ready for bed. And the grandmother said, now tonight you're going to run and cry and hide under that bed. Oh no, not me, said the little boy. Well good, because I'm an old woman and I need my sleep. So that night, the little boy got in bed, and the piggy got in bed, and the dog got in bed, and the kitty jumped into bed, and the snake slithered into bed. So she turned out the light, the glass door, and she closed the squeaking door. And the little boy jumped on the bed and went, wah, wah. And the doggy jumped under the bed and went, woof, woof, woof. And the pig jumped under the bed and went, woof, woof, woof. And the snake slithered under the bed and went, Hiss. And the kitty jumped under the bed and went, meow. And the grandmother came running into the room. What did she say? You're making me mad, mad, mad. Tonight I'm going to put a horse in bed with you. So that night they were getting ready for bed. And she said, now tonight, are you going to run and cry and hide under the bed? Oh no, not me, not me, said the little boy. Well, that's good because I'm an old woman and I need my sleep. So that night, the little boy got in bed, the pig got in bed, the doggy got in bed, the kitty got in bed, the snake slithered into bed, and the horse got into bed. They're all tucked in 
And she turned on the light. And she closed the squeaking door. And the little boy jumped under the bed. And the piggy jumped under the bed. And the doggy jumped under the bed. And the kitty jumped under the bed. And the snake slithered under the bed. And the horse tried to jump under the bed. And it wouldn't fit. So he bucked up and down. He jumped around. He was so wild. He broke the bed. He broke the walls. And the whole house came tumbling down. Well, that night, Grandma took the boy and the pig and the horse and the kitty and the snake. And the horse was riding along with the cart behind them. They all jumped in. And they moved to a new house over here on this hill. And guess what? It did not have any squeaking doors. The end. Hope you liked it. I love telling that story. I love that you love it. And I miss you. And I'll be telling you another story. Maybe tomorrow or the next day if you like. Maybe I'll read one. Maybe I'll tell one. You never know. So let me know how you are. Okay? Give me a call. Send me a text. Okay. Love you all. Bye.